This is your Balanced Body Studio Reformer. Let's talk a bit about the anatomy of the machine, what all the parts are, and then we'll go through each section to teach you how to adjust it for any exercise within the Pilates repertoire. First we start with just the big parts. This whole area is the frame. Here's the frame. The rails run inside the frame. Coming to this end, this is the standing platform. This right here is the foot bar. Inside the well here, we have the kickstand for the foot bar. We have this metal bracket that holds the padded foot plate, also known as the jump board. And this is the foot strap used with box work. This is our spring bar, and this is the Revo, and these are the springs. This particular setup I'm going to go through is for the Revo system. You may have a different configuration on your reformer that will have a little different setup for the foot bar and the spring bar. Coming here we have the carriage, the shoulder rests, the headrest, the shoulder posts, the ropes and straps. These are just called single cotton loops. And the adjustment, the, the little uh, cleats that adjust the rope length. This also comes with some neoprene handles, often used for arm work. And down at this end, we have the risers and the sitting box. All of this should be in the box that you just opened to put your reformer together. Now coming back to this end, let's look at how these different parts work. We'll start here with the foot bar. And remember, this is the Revo foot bar. It may be a little different on your machine. So for the Revo foot bar, we have a couple of things. Right here you have these two plastic pieces that act as locks by simply sliding to the ends of the kickstand. Then if I pull on the foot bar, it's not going to go anywhere. To move it, I simply undo those, slide it up. This would be my high position, low position, high position. And then up here would be my extra high position. Again, any of your manual or instruction materials should tell you what height you're going to want the foot bar at for particular exercises. Coming in here to the spring bar, you'll notice that there are hooks and there are buttons. The hooks provide ordinary resistance from the springs, non-preloaded resistance. If I want to increase the resistance slightly, I simply take a spring off the hook or out of here and put it on the button. And that preloads the spring, creating a little bit of extra resistance for the, the exercise. Now you'll notice here there's five springs and they're in different colors. The weight or the resistance is color coded. The lightest is yellow, the medium is blue, heavy is red, extra heavy is green. So yellow, blue, red, green, going from lightest to heaviest. To adjust the resistance on the machine, you simply take off or add springs as needed. Now here, let's talk about how the Revo system works for the Revo spring bar. Here we have this little handle. You simply pull this up till it hooks underneath the front edge of the carriage and you slide it back, you'll feel it click into those little notches, and then you just let it go as far back as you want it to go. You'll use that adjustment particularly when you want to limit um, somebody's hip flexion or knee flexion, let's say after a knee surgery or after a hip operation, that'll allow you to have less uh, tension and less uh, flexion in the hip and the knee. Coming to this position here, now we have a couple things here. The shoulder rests on this machine, this is our newest version of the Revo, are actually adjustable. So what you can do here is taking these knobs, you simply unscrew them, not very far, just loosen them up a bit, and then the shoulder rests come off. And what you might notice on the bottom of the shoulder rests is that these knobs are not symmetrical. So I can switch the position of my shoulder rests and that means I have a wider distance between the shoulders. Again, to lock that down, just a couple of screws and I'm good to go. And these are nice and solid, there's no rattle, and I've got a nice solid adjustable shoulder rest position. Coming to the headrest, the headrest has three positions. We have down, which is the zero position, the flat position. We have a halfway position, which is where the notch in the kickstand is on the frame, and we have a high position. Again, this adjustment is really designed for comfort for a client's head position relative to their torso. 
Some exercises you're going to want it up because you want more support for the head. Other exercises, let's say where the client is rolling up onto the shoulders as in short spine massage, you're going to want it down so there's not extra pressure on the neck. The next area to adjust is the rope length or the strap length. So here, let's say I want my straps to be on the shoulder posts rather than the shoulder rests. I'm going to take my ropes and give them a pull. And now I've just adjusted this to be a little bit shorter. Notice how I pulled this out of this hole. There's a little hole here that keeps these ropes um, safe and out of the way um, from getting in the wheels or getting caught or getting pulled out. Now you don't need to use those. If you prefer it, you can. You can also leave the ropes out of the holes and it generally works just fine. Now, when the next thing we want to do is, let's say we want to make the ropes a little bit longer, because that's a different process. We take the ropes up like this, unpull un the ropes out of the cleats. So essentially, take your finger underneath and pop it out of the cleats. Then you'll adjust the length of the rope to wherever you need it to be. And then you'll pop the rope back into the cleat, usually taking your thumb just like that, just pushing it in and then just make a little fine adjustment on the length of the rope. Yeah? So that allows us to both shorten and lengthen our ropes to whatever position we would need to for the exercises that we're doing. Last but not least, at this end of the machine, we have the risers. Now, in the original machines that Joseph Pilates built, there weren't risers. There was simply a pulley right down here that a leather strap would go through. So people that come from a more traditional background in their Pilates uh, repertoire, in their Pilates teaching, will tend to work with the risers low, which would be more like how Joseph Pilates originally had the machines. But for some exercises, like for example, feet in straps, or for some of the seated arm work, it can be nice to raise the riser so that you have an easier angle of pull, a more direct angle of pull, or in the case of feeding the strap so that the ropes don't run into the shoulder rest, you get a bigger range of motion. This is going to be dependent on your training and your background, where you like the risers to be. But to adjust them, you just unscrew it, slide it to where you want it, and then tighten it back up. Very easy to adjust. You'll also notice there's markings on here, so if you prefer an in-between position, it's fairly easy to get the risers nice and even. All right, so that is the Bounce Body Studio Reformer, an introduction to the foot bar, the spring bar, how the straps adjust, shoulder rest, head rest, and riser. One last thing I like to say here is an important part of maintenance for this piece of equipment is to keep the rails clean. And the easiest way to do that is simply to take a damp rag and to run them along the rails at least, well, ideally every day, but certainly every week. Because what you'll find if you don't do that is little bumps of, of just dust get collected and you'll start to feel little bumps on the wheels. So you want to take a nice just wet rag and run them along the rails to make sure those stay nice and clean. You also may want to clean the wheels of the machine. I'm just going to turn this up like this. Now you see how you've got the wheels here. Again, just taking a wet rag and cleaning the wheels will be a really nice way to keep this running well for a very, very long time. I like to clean out all the wheels. You'll also find sometimes, if you have a lot of clients, for example, with long hair, that hair will get stuck in here. So then you want to go in and tweezer that out to make those nice and, and gliding. The last thing you'll want to do for maintenance is just keep your vinyl clean. Uh, Balance Body sells a wonderful new product that is designed specifically for our vinyl to keep it lasting a long time, be antimicrobial, and really keep yourself clean. So use that or other products that are working for you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at Balance Body at Pilates.com. We're happy to answer any questions you may have about your machine. And um, happy practicing. Enjoy your time.